Hello students, welcome back to our class. So, in the previous class we discussed about if two triangles are similar then ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding sides and ratio of squares of their corresponding altitudes as well as ratio of squares of their corresponding medians. Now, in this class we are going to discuss about ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding angular bisectors as well as ratio of squares of their corresponding perimeters also. Let us have a look on this. Okay. Um, for that you need to understand one thing, uh, if you remember what is vertical angle bisector theorem. You know what is vertical angle bisector theorem? I will just have, uh, give you a clear picture on that vertical angle bisector theorem. After this module we will be discussing about what is that vertical angle bisector theorem and how to prove it. See let us have a triangle this is one triangle. In this triangle A, B, C, if you consider this B, C as the base, then this angle is said to be the vertical angle. The angle which is opposite to the base is said to be vertical angle and the angles which are connected with the base are said to be base angles obviously. So, this is the vertical angle. If you draw the angular bisector of the vertical angle, angular bisector means this line bisects this angle into two equal parts. For suppose this is some m, if a m bisects angle b a c then that bisector divides the base into the ratio of other two sides. The bisector of vertical angle of a triangle divides the base into the ratio of other two sides that is what is called vertical angle bisector theorem. So, according to the vertical angle bisector theorem a m is the bisector of this vertical angle BAC, then that AM divides the base. How this is dividing the base into the ratio of BM and MC, which is same as which is same as the other two sides ratio that is AB divided by AC. This is what is called vertical angle bisector theorem. So, we are going to use this vertical angle bisector theorem in order to prove our statement. So, what is our statement now? our statement is going to be right. So, the next statement is if two triangles are similar, if two triangles are similar, if two triangles are similar then ratio of their areas, then ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of squares of their of their corresponding angular bisectors corresponding angular bisectors this is what we are going to prove. For that again you need two triangles which are similar. I am taking this is the first triangle, triangle ABC and the second triangle let it be triangle PQR such that these two triangles are similar. Two triangles are similar means angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q, obviously angle C is equal to angle R and now you need one angular bisector also. So, angular bisector means this is the angular bisector. So, this divides the vertical angle into two equal parts. Let it be some x and this is one more angular bisector here let it be angle y uh, sorry this is y p y and a x both are angular bisector. So, it divides into two equal parts. Now, what are we going to prove here? Ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of squares of the corresponding angular bisectors. Means, area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR is equal to AX square by PY square that is what we need to prove. So, I will write the information given in this uh, statement. What is the information given? That same as it is again triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR that implies if two triangles are similar angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q 
and angle C is equal to angle R and also and also A B by P Q is equal to B C by Q R which is also is equal to A C by P R that was the information since those two triangles are similar. Also what is given here also also A X and P Y are angular bisectors of angle B A C and angle Q P R also A X comma B Y bisects angle B A C and angle Q P R respectively they are respectively. So, in order to prove that area of A B C by area of P Q R I will write here first of all what is R T P? R T P is area of triangle A B C divided by area of triangle P Q R which is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding angular bisectors. There the angular bisector is A x. So, A x square by here the angular bisector is P y. So, P y square. So, in order to prove this A x square by P y square, what are the logical sequence of steps involved in this theorem? See once you observe this angle A is equal to angle P by default because it was already given in the information. When angle A is equal to angle P, since it is the bisector, then what can you infer about this part and this part? Both are equal. For example, the entire measure of this angle is equal to 60 degrees. If angle A is equal to 60, what about angle P? Also 60 degrees because angle A equal to angle P. Okay, it is 60, this is also 60. Since this is the bisector, so that ang that bisector divides the angle into two equal parts, right? Then what is the value of each measurement there? each measurement of the angle is equal to 60 by 2 that is 30 degrees 30 degrees. What about here? Here also 30 degrees 30 degrees. So, that here we can say one thing that this angle is equal to this angle right. So, this angle is equal to this angle already angle Q is equal to angle B and one more thing is A B by P Q is equal to uh, what is that B X by Q R whatever that is, but since these two angles are equal to these two angles automatically third angle equal to third angle. Then what can you infer about those two triangles? They are similar by a, a similarity as simple as that. See what are we going to prove here according to this since angle A is equal to angle P that implies half of angle A is equal to half of angle P right. So, half of angle A is equal to half of angle P. What is this half of angle A? Half of angle A is angle B A X that is angle B A X is equal to half of angle P is equal to Q P Y and angle B is equal to angle Q that was already given angle B is equal to angle Q therefore, by A A similarity by A A similarity triangle what is the first triangle A B X triangle A B X similar to triangle P Q Y P Q Y. Since these two triangles are similar by C P S T by C P S T we can say that A B by P Q is equal to A X by P Y right. A B by P Q is equal to A X by P Y. Now, anyway we are going to find out ratio of their areas. Therefore, area of triangle A B C divided by area of triangle P Q R which is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding sides that was already we proved. So, that I am using that information A B square by P Q square, but see here now instead of A B by P Q can we write A X by P Y? Yes, which is equal to A X square divided by P Y square this is area of triangle A B C divided by area of triangle P Q R which is equal to A X square divided by P Y square. So, this way 
we can prove that if two triangles are similar, then ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding angular bisectors also. So, till now we proved totally four things. What are those four things? If two triangles are similar, ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding sides, ratio of squares of their corresponding altitudes, ratio of squares of their corresponding medians, ratio of squares of their corresponding angular bisectors. What is the final one? Which is also is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding perimeters. So, let us see how are we going to prove that same as ratio of squares of their corresponding perimeters also. So, that is the fifth one. I am going to write the statement. If two triangles are similar, if two triangles are similar, then if two triangles are similar, then ratio of their areas, ratio of their areas is equal to is equal to ratio of squares ratio of squares of their corresponding ratio of squares of their corresponding perimeters ratio of squares of their corresponding perimeters. Again, we need two triangles which are similar. So, let it be the first triangle ABC and the second triangle PQR. These two triangles are similar. Since these two triangles are similar, that is what I am going to write the information given. Triangle ABC similar to triangle PQR, right? triangle ABC similar to triangle PQR. It means angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q and angle C is equal to angle R and also AB by PQ is equal to BC by QR which is also is equal to AC by PR. Okay? AB by PQ equal to BC by QR is equal to AC by PR. So, what are we going to prove here? We are going to prove that area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR is going to be ratio of squares of their corresponding perimeters. What do you mean by perimeter of a triangle? Length of the boundary. Length of the boundary means this boundary plus this boundary plus this boundary means sum of the lengths of the all the three sides is said to be the perimeter. Okay? So, perimeter of ABC is AB plus BC plus CA divided by perimeter of PQR is PQ plus QR plus PR whole square. This is what you need to prove. See, this is very easy to prove that ratio of their areas is equal to ratio of squares of their perimeters. Just you try to understand A B by P Q is equal to B C by Q R is equal to A C by P R. Right? For that, I am going to use the information A B by P Q is equal to B C by Q R is equal to A C by P R. Consider A B by P Q is equal to B C by Q R which is also is equal to A C by P R. Since these three ratios are equal, I am taking one more term which is equal to all the three ratios. Let us suppose this is K within brackets say, because I am taking that K. Then three ratios are is equal to K means what? Every single ratio is equal to K. It means A B by P Q is equal to K, B C by Q R is equal to K, A C by P R is also equal to K. Now, I am going to take the first one that is A B by P Q is equal to K. If A B by P Q is equal to K, then what is the value of A B here? A B is equal to K into P Q. A B equal to K into P Q. Similarly, when you take B C by Q R is also equal to K, 
then what can you say about BC? Yes, BC is equal to K into QR. I would write here BC is equal to K into QR and similarly AC by PR is equal to K. Therefore, AC is equal to K into PR, right? So, AB by AB by PQ is equal to BC by QR is equal to AC by PR is equal to K means AB is equal to K into PQ, BC is equal to K into QR. AC is equal to K into PR, right? This is one information. Now, what am I going to take here? I am going to find out the perimeter of ABC by perimeter of PQR. What am I going to find? Perimeter of ABC by perimeter of PQR. Therefore, perimeter of triangle ABC divided by perimeter of triangle PQR which is equal to perimeter of ABC means you know that AB plus BC plus AC or CA whole divided by PQ plus QR plus PR. Now, instead of AB I can write KPQ. So, that is K into PQ plus K into QR plus K into PR whole divided by P Q plus Q R plus P R. So, I think you can understand here if you take one K common from the numerator K into P Q plus Q R plus P R divided by P Q plus Q R plus P R. So, that P Q plus Q R plus P R and the denominator gets cancelled K into 1 is equal to K. So, you observed that A B plus B C plus A C by P Q plus Q R plus P R is equal to K. But what is that K exactly? K exactly equal to AB by PQ equal to BC by QR is equal to AC by PR. So, instead of K you can write all these things right, but we already know that area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR which is equal to ratio of squares of their corresponding sides that is AB square by PQ square which is equal to AB by PQ whole square correct. So, can we write AB by PQ is equal to K which is equal to perimeter of ABC by perimeter of PQR right. So, because K is equal to perimeter of ABC divided by perimeter of PQR that is what we got, but initially what is K? K is equal to AB by PQ equal to BC by QR equal to AC by PR. Therefore, AB by PQ is equal to BC by QR is equal to AC by PR is also equal to perimeter of ABC by perimeter of PQR. Therefore, what can you write here is equal to perimeter of triangle ABC divided by perimeter of triangle PQR whole square. You understand how to prove this? Therefore, area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR is equal to perimeter of triangle ABC by perimeter of triangle PQR. So, this way we can prove that the relationship between areas of similar triangles and their corresponding sides, corresponding altitudes, corresponding medians, corresponding angular bisectors as well as corresponding perimeters also. And this is when one of the most important and useful topic even in our plus 1 plus 2 also, because in uh, coordinate geometry of intermediate or plus 1 plus 2, we have a concept called in center and x center of a triangle. So, in order to derive the formula for in center or x center, we use the concept of the just now we used areas of two similar triangles is equal to ratio of areas uh, squares of their corresponding angular bisectors that concept we use right. So, that is why you please do concentrate on this and feel that it is easier hope you are understanding right. Thank you.